Welcome to 2019 Weekly, and yes, the elections are over, and some of our young participants actually emerged as winners. One of them is Abdullahi Adamu Bazwa, who won his seat for the House of Assembly, representing to represent for Kistun Central in Yobe State, and having with him here today. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And congratulations, by the way. Thank you once again. All right, so. Okay, you are in one of the major political parties in Nigeria. Yeah. Would you consider this to be, you know, a contributing factor in your success in the in the concluded elections? Um, well, I can say so because uh, political parties do contribute in the uh, winning election, but uh, sometimes, you know, yourself matters. How you devote yourself, how you engage yourself with your people. Uh, moreover, mine is a second term. I'm coming back for the second time, so this is to tell you that party play a role. I myself too play a big role in convincing the people that yes, we can do much more better in the second term. All right, so we, we, we understand that there were so many irregularities, you know, in the just concluded elections. Was that the case in your constituency? Was that the case in your polling units? I mean, what, were the ex what was the experience like on election day? Actually, if I should answer the question, I will tell you I did not see and I have not experienced any irregularities throughout, not only my constituency, but throughout my state. We have a peaceful, most transparent election. That's your best state, right? That's That's your best state, yeah. Nice. So, okay, now, as a young participant, I'm sure you attended, you know, the YAF training and beauty, capacity building workshop. Yeah. How would you say it contributed to, to how you managed you know, your election activities? Yeah, actually, YAF have you know, exposed me on how to, you know, sometimes approach my constituents, you know, in a difficult situation uh, sometimes. And, you know, the issue has to do with governance entirely. You know, what is expected from me and how I can educate my people, you know, to know about my activities in the office and what have you. All right. All right, that was uh, Honorable Abdullahi Bazwa. And yes, it's been interesting. It's good to know that some other young participants actually emerged as winners. I'm sure you'd like to check them out, so stay with us. Welcome back to the show, and yes, we still have Honorable Abdullahi here with us. Now, um, Honorable, now there were 10 or 11 BR participants, 10 BR participants who won the elections out of the so many, you know, young people that ran for office. Would you say this is a step back, or, or we are actually, we as, uh, as, as a country are actually getting, you know, to a place, to a youth-inclusive government? Oh, well, actually, I can't say it's a step back. At least, uh, this is an achievement that is gradually coming on the, in the political space in Nigeria. If we, if we, if you go back to, if we go back to 2015, you find out that those of us that contested in 2015, the young people are very, very few. But 2019 paved ways for young people, you know, to see themselves as, uh, as a stars in the political space in Nigeria, and they have played a vital role by contesting and engaging themselves in the politicking. And uh, everybody is a witness to that, and we have seen how youth have changed the political patterns in this, in this country, even though we are not many that won the seat, but I think this is a step forward. Uh, we are hoping that by 2023, a number of us will increase to the higher level. Yes, okay, this is your, you said this is your second term, right? Yeah. So what exactly do you, do you plan to do differently from what you did in your first term to make a difference in your constituency? You know, uh, as, far, as, far as, as far as I'm concerned, and the people of my constituency is concerned, they know and they are witness of our activities, but this time around we want to change 
some uh, some of our activities like from the fiscal engagement to like uh, we want to introduce a kind of uh, town hall meeting that will bring us together including youth, women, elders and uh, religious leaders to discuss issues that has to do with our uh, world in particular. What our, 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 what our, our people needed from us. What do they want us to do? You know, do they have a bill that they need? They need us to, to you know, to, 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 to take it to the assembly, or do they have some project that they need the government to do it for them? So we will engage them through the town hall meeting, so that you know we we'll create best for the youth, you know, to have a say in the political system. That sounds great, Honourable. And once again, congratulations on your win. I hope Thank it's you. an inspiration to you out there. And that was an interesting one from Honourable Abdullahi. I mean, it's, it's inspiring to see that our young participants and candidates can actually run and win elective offices. I am Salamut Al-Hassan, and this is 2019 Weekly.